billion. That is the amount of investment committed to AI over just the next five years. We've never seen this amount of investment in such a short space of time with any technology or almost any topic on Earth in human history. Only two scenarios will exist. Either AI will do everything it's supposed to do, it will be truly magical and create a lot of problems and opportunities along the way, or it will still happen because investors need to get their money back. Fast forward to today when we have generative AI with vectorization and transformers, we're able to train models much, much quicker, and they're able to become a lot more useful than they did before. We don't need as many data scientists and engineers in order to make it work in companies, in order to transform the way that they operate. Not sure if you know this, but we already have something called super narrow AI. So we're talking about super narrow AIs that do autonomous driving. So these autonomous driving systems drive for one and a half to two million miles before it has an accident. An average human drives around 100,000 kilometers before it has its first accident. We're talking about super narrow intelligence for hospital scans and CT scans, x-rays, MRI scans, that can look at those scans better than any human, better than any doctor, better than any radiologist. But you see, everybody talks about AI, 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 AI. But it's not just about AI. There are a number of other technologies which are also evolving at an incredible rate, which is being sped up by AI and is highly correlated with the AI technology. AI has infinite memory, infinite ability to remember everything it's ever read. As humans, we have a very limited capability of remembering what happened even last week, word for word. And if we ask all of you, for instance, to read a strategic document that has a thousand pages, you all probably take a couple of days to read that. And again, not remember everything that you've read. But an AI system can do that in minutes, and it can remember every single thing that it read. I believe that there's only going to be a couple of hundred jobs available that humans fully do in the next 15 years. And these will fall into three different categories. There'll be the more basic jobs, the more junior jobs, which are more data-driven, copy and pasting. Doesn't need such a high IQ to go and perform in the banking world. There'll be jobs which are slightly more experienced, five to 10 years experience, where people are having to think, they're having to put formulas together and figure out ways to figure out trends, etc. And there'll be jobs which are very strategic, you know, the leaders of companies, board members, and C-level executives. All of these are going to be augmented and touched by AI in some way, shape, or form. The first box is very likely to go completely over the next couple of years. The second box is very likely to be at least 50% augmented. So 50% of that person's job will probably go to AI or have to be rearranged with AI, or at least it's possible to. And the last box is going to be more about augmenting strategic decisions the ability of a leader to better lead his or her organization. Today, we're in the era of AGI, in the era of Gen AI, an agency where bots can actually go and do things by themselves just with simple instructions. And very soon, we're going to get to an era where we're going to have a lot of robots running around doing things for us, agents, RPA bots, automation bots. So how do we coordinate that? So workflow engines are going to become extremely important. I still hold the world record of the most amount of digital workers in the company. I had 3,500 AI agents working for me at one point in United Health Group. They did the equivalent of 48,000 people's jobs out of a workforce of 350,000 people. So trust me when I say this, you're going to need to have a workflow engine to coordinate what humans do, what AIs do, in a way that it's going to help the organization forward and not cause confusion. Anybody can build AI and agents, but allowing that coordination between humans and AI agents to work together in a cohesive manner is extremely important. And that's why company and work design is extremely important for you to be able to build these systems to coordinate all of this work. And I truly believe that having this higher intelligence to take away this thing that keeps us busy every day, keeps us in the rat wheel every day, and taking that away from us 
is going to force us to come to the realization that there is something bigger to life than just work, sleep, repeat every single day. Thank you.